Okay, today we're going to take a quick look at how you can export your content from a Canvas shell that you used in a previous semester and then only import certain pieces of that content into your current shell. Now this is going to be very important for individuals who may have taught in Canvas in previous semesters because you don't want to copy over aspects of the old blueprint on top of the new blueprint. The institutional blueprint for Toro University, California gets reviewed and revised every semester. So you want to make sure that you don't overwrite those changes that were made for the current semester. So as you can see, here is my course from the spring 18 semester. And you can see here's the blueprint that we used during that semester. And you can see I filled out material on the blueprint here. And as you can see from the modules, here's the blueprint material. But here's also some things from my class. And as well, if you click on the assignments, you can see here some of the assignments that students had. So what I need to do is I need to essentially get this material over into my new shell without overwriting all of the standard blueprint material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to settings and I am going to export my course and I'm going to export the entire course here. So I'm going to create an export file and it's going to take a couple of seconds to do that because I don't have a lot of content in this one credit hour course. And once the export has been created, I'm going to click on New Export. And as you can see, it downloads to my computer. And when it's finished downloading, I will go over to my new course. So you can see this here is the course, the same course for the spring of 2019. So this is my current one. And as you can see, here's my current blueprint. And I haven't done anything with this blueprint yet because I'm waiting to bring in my content. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to Settings. And I'm going to import my course content. And I'm going to say I'm going to import a Canvas course package. I'm going to select the one that I just exported, so the one from the spring 18 semester. Click open. And instead of clicking all content, what I want to do is collect, uh, click here. I want to click on select specific content. And when I do that, it's going to, after the import has taken place, ask me specifically which items that I want to import. So I'm going to click on import here now and it's going to start thinking and essentially bringing the file into the system so that it will figure out what I want to import and what I don't want to import. And this process takes a little bit longer than the standard import. So you'll notice it'll queue here first and then it'll start running before it goes through. So it goes, it takes a slightly little bit longer than what you'd want. But when it is ready, it'll say waiting for selection. And there will be a blue button here that says select content. And when I click on that, it gives me everything that we have in the course. So as you can see, for folks who are using uh, the template, so for the folks at the at Toro University, California, um, when I click on modules, it asks me which modules that I want to bring in. I do not want to bring in the Start Here module because that one is already in here. That's part of my blueprint. So I can click on just the Course Materials module. I want to bring in all of my assignments. I want to bring in all of my quizzes. I want to bring in all of my question banks. I want to bring in my discussion topic again. Um, I want to bring in my LTI. I want to bring in my announcements. I want to bring in my rubrics, my outcomes. Um, when it comes to the pages, I want to look at those and see what's there because I don't need to bring in the ones that are associated with the blueprint. So I don't need to bring in the let's get started. I don't need to bring in the help and support or the course overview or the home page. I'm going to bring in, um, I don't need to bring in the communications and netiquette. 
And that's about it. So it's thus those five ones. And in the comments area of the video, I'll have a listing of all of the pages you don't need to bring in, which modules you don't need to bring in, and then the last item are the files. So when I click on the files, um, what I want to bring in is I want to bring in all of the ones that are specific to the course content that we created. So I can go through and drag all of these in, but the ones you notice I'm skipping are the ones that say icon with an underscore or the ones that say course banner because those are the ones that are um, ones that we brought in as a part of the template. Now in many cases a lot of these will already just be in this icons area here and that's fine uh, because I can just get rid of all of this so I don't have to bring in this and let's just make sure there are none in here so I don't need to bring in any of those either. So once I've gone through and I've picked out all of the images and files and pages and modules that I want to bring in what I need to do then is just click on select content. So again in the comments area or in the description for this video will be a complete listing of the items that you do not need to bring in so the items that you don't want to check and then you can check everything but those particular items so I'm just gonna click select content here now and it's gonna think a little bit it'll queue for me again and then it will actually go through and start running to bring in the specific content that I asked it to bring in so as you can see here my blue bar is coming across and in a second it's been completed and when I go back and click on home you'll notice my banner is still here all of my icons are here the home page hasn't changed but when I click on modules you can see it's brought in the material that I had from the previous course when I click on my assignments you can see all of the assignments that I brought in from the previous course are currently there. So this is how you would go and update your new course based upon the content of an old course so that you don't overwrite any aspects of the standard blueprint that's applied to all Toro University California courses. This is also the same process that you would go through if you had a Blackboard export file, or for that matter, if you had a file, an export file from another institution that used Canvas, or from a sandbox or another sub account within Canvas, a colleague that might be at another Toro campus that sent you something, that same process when you go to import and then go select specific content will allow you to just pull out the items that you want to include. So this has been another quick video that looks at exporting your Canvas content so that you can import only certain content or specific content which becomes particularly important if you are exporting from a previous course that you've taught in Canvas here at Toro University California so that you don't overwrite the standard blueprint.